is this man you brought to me, Muse? Where does his power come from? How could he so casually give some to Risha? Does he bear the same sigil as I, but concealed? Something similar, but not complete. He is here to be both spur and lure. I should know by now that all you will offer me between your disappearances is a vague sense of mystery, not facts. You seem intent on forcing some direction on me. Is this Roe Rustain part of your visions? I see, as always, beyond the now to the result. Sometimes I must coax it closer. Still, you should have consulted me before bringing him here. Include me and I will be party to your plans. Confound me, and you might find that I make you an agent of mine. Yours is a fascinating spirit, Minister of Catador, unfettered by any care for others. My only niece rejected me, Muse, as did her mother. My line ends with me. It is only through my actions that I will be remembered. So I will be the first minister of all islands. My name will be known for all time. Risha, stop that at once! You're frightening the populace! If you wish, Minister Elan. But I merely try to see my new skill. Surely you want me to make myself useful to you? I tell you, Muse, this situation holds within it the seeds of... Muse? I'm so disappointed, Minister Elan. I thought you'd be pleased at the prospect of a true partner. I have no peers, Miss Teramu. Just lessers of many levels. One last gift, my dear. A talisman by which you can contact me. To remind you to whom you are beholden for your power. As a guest is beholden to his host? As you are to me? Will that courtesy be repaid with an invitation to visit you in this Elysia from which you hail? Ah, perhaps. But my home may not be as inviting as you imagine. The water slams against the decks all day? Only if you watch. Close your eyes and it all stops but the roaring. Sefi, how could a girl from Meridian not have noticed the ocean below her island? I've seen it from above, Kotsen, just never from the rim. You won't win allies against Elon if you waste the day staring out to sea, Sefi. We'll get no drink for our parched tongues. Let's move along. Sefi? Coming, Handel. Today? Pull yourself away, girl. The sea's not going anywhere. Do you know what it's like inside the cavern, Sefi? I've heard stories, but all I've ever seen of the surface world is what I've been through on this journey. I know a gal. She knows everybody and everything about the caverns, so she can introduce you to the important people. But Seth, you're gonna have to show them what you can do. And soon. I don't know about that. Look around. This place is on the rough side, built for guys like me. Mining's dangerous work, and they don't welcome strangers who've led easy lives up in the sky. Muscles valued here. They won't join you unless they respect you. And they won't respect you unless they can fear you a little. Me? I've got Handel and Deneen here to keep them in line. You. You need to show them you can knock them down. But before you can do that... You're gonna have to get their attention. Durin Beck runs the best meeting house in the caverns. In fact, this party probably started at her place. She's quite a woman. There's not a soul nearby who hasn't felt the sole of her boot on his backside. I'm not talking from personal experience, of course. Ow. Wait, let me try. Hey now, 
Didn't know you could do that, Seppi. Neither did I. It just seemed possible. Cotson, you oversized pinhead! What are you doing bringing a kid in here? Glad to see you too, Durin. We're just showing Seppi here the quiet streets of the caverns. Seppi, meet... Durin Beck. Pleased to meet you, Seppi. Watch your back. It's dangerous here. Oh, she's just exaggerating, Seppi. It's not always like this. Sometimes it's worse. It's always like this. Swat him if he tells you otherwise. Not too many people end up dead, though. Stick with me. I'll keep you safe. You'll keep me safe? You're safe now. I was already safe, and so were they. I really can take care of myself. How did you do that? It's a very long story that starts with a mark on my head. It's... it's part of why I'm here. Durin, she's here to get out the word about what Katador's minister is really up to, and get people lined up against him. She'll never have a better opportunity to get everybody's attention. This fight is getting out of hand. If I hadn't caught those two, they'd be injured or worse. So take control. Grab this gang by the... Uh, just show it, Seth. Hmm. In a cavern full of brawling men and women. A situation that would have horrified me just days ago. That was the moment. Something changed in me. If I was just Sethy when I wandered in there asking for help. Hold this. That's my girl. Kotsin, who is... What is she? Stop it! Now I was the Minister Meridian, and I was demanding help. Papa always felt he gained the authority of Minister before he inherited the title. I already had the title, but I only just then found the authority. Durin Beck, I'd like you to meet Seppi, Minister of Meridian. I'd heard the girl had... What's the minister of a sky city doing down here in the caverns? I'd call it flying myself. But call it what you like. It's her learning to show off. Listen to me! You're wasting all this aggression fighting each other! You want somebody to fight? I'll give you something real to fight for. What would being able to trade directly with the sky cities without Minister Elon's control mean to you? Better wages? Less dangerous work? How tough are you? Show me. Are you tough enough to defy Katador and save your future? I know his plans. If we don't unite against him soon, all of Demetria, all of us, will be nothing but his slaves. You see what I can do? He can do worse. You think this is the one? She could be. We need to take her down. I'll arrange it. Meet us behind my place. Meridian. I was minister in exile, far from my home. But home was never far from my thoughts. And then Jad told me he'd take care of me for a long time. Even as I envisioned the island overrun with Katadorian soldiers, her people forced to garrison strangers, I knew my friends would find a way to make something good come of it. Be careful, Phoebe. You know how he felt about Seppi. Poor new star that she is now. That's what we do on Meridian. Find the good in things. It's always there. You must make sure, after our escape from Meridian and the whirl of building a new home here, you're not rushing into things. Like you and Isago aren't? Zuka, Dad said he's going to take care of me forever, and I'm going to make him prove it. I just don't want you to have your heart broken. That will never happen, Zuka. Jad loves me. I am sorry that seppi has gone, Zook. You know that. But I'm not sorry that her loss let Jad and me find our own happiness. We've lost our home and our Sefi. But you have Isago and I have Jad, and we still have each other. Say it with me. Sisters not of blood, but heart. Ours a bond no force can part. 
Sefi would have wanted a happy ending for all of us. I'm ready now. What welcome news. I was afraid you were going to make me late for my own wedding. But it's our first wedding, Mira. I wanted to look perfect. You look wonderful, Mira. John's so lucky. As am I. Thank you, Maribet. Phoebe, Zuka, no matter how you two look, you are perfect. Shall we get started? It's so small. It's not right. Remember how weddings were? At home? Let's look forward, not back. Our meridian is lost now, girls. Look at the magical place we've made out of what we found here. A new start on a new island. It couldn't be more right. Ah, you youngsters today. Always so eager to run off and get married. Got any advice for me, old man? Hmm. Always listen to your son and do everything his way. When he's the one polishing my boots, not likely. Thanks, Jad. So, how's the old man look? Whatever Mira sees in you, it's certainly there today. But you two could have waited for us to construct the Great Hall, Dad. Now's the right time for this. We needed a shared celebration day to make the new island home. And, De John, you want to be a married man again. Both, Jad. After all the tragedy we've shared and the pain of having to uproot and leave Meridian, it's important to have the comfort of familiar rituals in an unfamiliar place. And I really want to marry Mira. Mira Drajuna, I ask you here in the loving presence of our family and friends to make public and known our decision to join our hearts and hands as one. John Ducati, I join you here in the circle of our neighbors to affirm our decision to link hearts and minds. To give you my promise that I will stay by your side as long as the sun will shine. And I give you my own, that I will be by your side until we both join the stars in the sky. Now, with a kiss, let our lives be sealed together. Let this same kiss be proof of our promise, witness to our bond. From now on, let us be known as one. Remembering Meridian, my friends, didn't leave me feeling as empty now as it had back on Catador or Acacia. I could call to mind happy times without having to cry or wonder if they ever thought of me. It was good to know that I would never again be lonely. Now that I had so many new friends, Kotzen, Handel, Deneen, they all believed in me enough to leave their work and join me. I thought Durin did too, so I welcomed her friendship. Welcome to my lair. Watch the broken glass. It's very, very rough. This place suits the caverns and makes me a good living. That's all it has to do. You now, taking on Minister Elon all by yourself, that's rough. But I believe you can do it, Sefi. I've met other people who believe as fiercely that they can change the world. I'd like to believe you all can. But the time I've put in cleaning up after drunks and brawlers makes me suspicious. Sefi, that's just amazing. Here's what I wanted to show you. Your mother drew this, Seppi. It's me. You knew my mother? I never knew she came down here. Many times. I remember her as a golden, big-bellied woman who made beautiful pictures appear. But she never came back after she had her baby. You. I hated you then for taking her away. Especially after we learned she died. But I don't hate you now. Thank you for changing your mind. You changed it. What you said to those men out there, you made me believe. In what? In you. Seppi, don't hate me. What? <laughs> they need you. We need you. Sometimes, I'm too trusting. 